Proxima b is an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the star closest to our solar system, only 4.24 light-years away. Despite this relatively short distance, the planet remains a profound mystery, surprising scientists with its unusual and extreme conditions. A standout feature of Proxima b is its tidal locking. One side of the planet always faces the star, receiving constant light and heat, while the other side is cloaked in eternal darkness and freezing cold. This creates a sharp environmental contrast. The light side is scorched by unrelenting radiation, while the dark side is icy and lifeless, at least at first glance. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, has recently revealed something astonishing. It detected structured infrared emissions on the dark side of Proxima b. These signals aren't random. They pulse with mathematical precision, raising questions. Could they be a natural phenomenon, or are we looking at signs of intelligent life? Interestingly, the emissions are extremely faint, about one thousandth the brightness of the daylight side, but they form geometric patterns similar to urban layouts on Earth. These, hot spots, emit terahertz radiation, a frequency not usually found in nature but common in advanced communications on Earth. Scientists have mapped 12 zones on the dark side. Each area pulses with the same rhythm, every 27.3 hours, which matches the orbital period of the planet. This precise timing has led some experts to wonder if the emissions are engineered. However, not everyone agrees. Skeptics suggest that exotic crystal formations in Proxima b's crust could be behind these patterns. These crystals might generate rhythmic pulses through a pyroelectric effect, a natural process where materials produce electricity when they change temperature. Adding to the puzzle, Proxima b is believed to have a molten iron core, similar to Earth. This core, heated by tidal forces from its star, may fuel geothermal activity beneath the planet's icy surface. If hydrothermal vents exist, they could create subsurface lakes with conditions suitable for life. These environments might host extremophiles, similar to Earth's Thermococcus species, which survive in boiling sulfur-rich waters. JWST has also detected ammonia and hydrogen sulfide near the emission zones, chemicals that on Earth are often linked to anaerobic microbes. But there's a catch. The intensity of the emissions rivals the output of 10,000 nuclear power plants. That's far beyond what any known natural geological process can produce. This supports the theory that we might be looking at artificial energy systems. Proxima b's atmosphere is very thin, about 0.1% the density of Earth's atmosphere. This makes heat retention difficult. However, JWST found titanium dioxide nanoparticles in the regolith, surface ice and rock. On Earth, this compound is used to reflect sunlight. Here, it may be used to trap geothermal heat, creating pockets of warmth below the surface. If intelligent life exists, it might have created insulated habitats using advanced materials. These could be underground cities, or, arcologies, shielded from the 200 degrees Celsius surface temperatures. Energy could be transferred across great distances using superconductors, possibly linking power plants with residential areas. Another intriguing region is the Terminator Line, the boundary between the light and dark sides. JWST observed glacial movements here, hinting at liquid water under the ice. This water could be warmed by radioactive decay, similar to processes that create subglacial lakes in Antarctica. If life exists there, it might resemble organisms from Earth's bloodfalls, where iron-oxidizing microbes give the ice a red hue. In total darkness, alien life could evolve to use sonar or magnetic fields instead of sight, developing radically different sensory systems. Proxima Centauri often sends out violent stellar flares, which bombard the planet with X-rays and UV radiation. This makes life on the surface almost impossible without radiation-hardened technology. Any advanced beings might live in lava tubes or bunkers, using fusion reactors powered by deuterium from comets. The emissions also include coherent light patterns, which resemble fiber optic networks. This raises the possibility of data transmission systems or even quantum communication arrays. If confirmed, such technology would be decades or even centuries ahead of what we can currently achieve. In response, 
The Breakthrough Starshot initiative is planning to send tiny spacecraft propelled by powerful lasers to Proxima b. These probes, weighing only a few grams, would travel at 20% the speed of light and reach the planet in about 20 years. They'll carry nanophotonic sensors capable of analyzing the atmosphere and surface features in incredible detail. We might finally get high-resolution images of these strange patterns, or even evidence of megastructures or industrial complexes. Yet, space travel isn't simple. Probes face dangers from interstellar dust and cosmic rays. To survive, they'll need self-repairing nanomaterials and durable shields. The scientific and engineering challenges are enormous but not impossible. If these missions confirm intelligent life, it would lead to major global discussions. The United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs UNOOSA, has already drafted rules for extraterrestrial contact. These focus on non-interference, peaceful engagement, and transparent data sharing. Meanwhile, theologians wonder how alien life fits into spiritual beliefs. Could aliens have souls? Would their existence alter religious narratives? Economists debate how access to alien technologies could reshape Earth's economy, potentially leading to post-scarcity societies. Another strange finding involves methane plumes on Proxima b's dark side. These appear seasonally and don't match the biological methane we know. Some scientists think the methane might come from carbon capture factories, or even terraforming experiments. The plumes appear in sync with the emission pulses, hinting at a coordinated system designed for environmental control. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.